Hey everyone, how's it going today? I hope everyone is doing well. In this video, I'm going to use the tarot to give you some advice. So if you have a question or a topic, a problem, a situation that you want to see solved, and you've done everything in your power to make practical changes and be honest with yourself about the situation. This reading is going to help you because it's going to give you a new perspective, a little more to work with. And I'm going to be using the Heindel Tarot. And it's also going to be a pick a card reading, which means that based on which item you choose, you're going to get a different reading. So it's an interactive reading. While I'm doing the shuffling, I would like to ask you to think about the situation that you would like to get some guidance on. And the way to do it is to just slow down your breathing a little bit. Just allow it to naturally Start matching the pace of my shuffling. Just allowing yourself to connect with this reading. And keeping the situation present in your mind and your consciousness. Just sharing this moment with it, allowing it to occupy the necessary space it needs in your consciousness, in the here and now. There's no need to do anything with it. Just allow it to coexist with us for a few moments right now. All right. So, let's see the first one. And uh, you can make your choice right now if you wish. If you feel like you're already gravitating towards one of these objects. Because I would recommend to pick one. If you already know which one it is that you're interested in. You can just go ahead and make your choice. And stick with it. So this card is going to give some advice to those who pick this first item. The second one looks like this. It sounds like this. And let's 
see which card is going to match up with third one looks like this and doesn't sound like it got one card for each item now and if you have already made your choice you can just go ahead and skip to the part of the video where I'm gonna tell you about the advice that comes from the card that you picked so Number one, number two, number three. You can go ahead and make your choice now. It's the last call for making your choice. Now, if you have picked the first one, then you can just continue watching because I'm going to start talking about it right away. Oh. Well, if you pick the first one, you've got the Wheel of Chance, your advice card. And the advice is to let things happen and unfold. Nothing else is required of you right now. You've done everything in your power presumably, to make the situation work out. And from now on, it's in the universe's hands. And you can stop worrying about it because it's just gonna work out the way it should. The Wheel of Chance is a major arcana card and it's about the twists and turns of fate, how it tends to yank us out of our comfort zones, how it tends to redirect the, uh, the itinerary of our existence, how it rewrites our plans and reorganizes our lives in the most mischievous but benevolent way. It's a very positive card because it embodies the vitality of existence. And it's a call for resilience Nothing else is required of you to do now other than roll with the punches. Cross every bridge when you get there. Trust yourself and trust the universe. You're being guided towards a better future. The only thing that I would like to emphasize is that your fate is in your hands to a certain extent. 
So, as long as you've got your priorities right, as long as you do everything in your power to make things happen the way they should, you will be fine. Of course, your knowledge of the consequences of your actions is limited. It's just a fact. But you can do the absolute best you can to try and make sure that what you're doing is productive and morally um, acceptable and in alignment with the rhythm of the universe. So you can al always strive to do the best you can. But the bottom line of this card is that it's in the universe's hands now. So a lot of things are about to change, perhaps in a very profound way. But it's all happening as part of a, a bigger plan that you might not need to know about. Good luck to you. Let's see what you've got for the second card. And the Six of Swords. It's quite the opposite of what the first one was. First one uh, encouraged the crowned to trust the process and accept that there's limits to their ability to control the situation. Here, however, the advice is to do quite the opposite. Remember that your cognitive abilities, your ability to reason, your ability to make connections between different facts and tendencies, your ability to make sense of data, of information, your ability to make distinctions and categorize things is a unique skill in the animal kingdom. Swords represent the human mind. Consciousness that is governed by the neocortex. So it is your responsibility in this situation to make sure that whatever you do and however you do it aligns with common sense and logic. Six of Swords is called science in many decks, not just this one. The reason being is that this is a card that is about strategizing, planning, making sure that you're choosing your future instead of 
being uh, randomly thrown into it by an unseen force. This in many ways is a power card because it reminds you of the power of your of your mind and of your ability to differentiate between good ideas and bad ideas. Your ability to to sort things out. If you're feeling overwhelmed right now by the uh, volume of uh, information that is coming at you, this is not the time to lay down and let it let it pull you under or push you under. It's the time to do your absolute very best to sit down and write a to-do list, perhaps a list of priorities, a list of uh, pros and cons. Now is the time to look at this situation from an analytical point of view instead of allowing your emotions and moods perhaps even your moral sensibilities to drive you it's very important that you realize that your future depends on your ability to cut through the noise and in order to make a make a good decision or make a series of good decisions in this situation you need to be clear on well if not where you want to go but you definitely need to be clear on what you're trying to get away from. In the traditional tarot, the Six of Swords is illustrated by the image of a family getting into a boat and sailing away into some unknown waters. And The uh, essence of this card is getting away from something that is negatively impacting you and venturing out into the unknown, if necessary, in hopes of a better future. Now, you're completely capable of seeing the uh, most logical and most convenient, perhaps not the most convenient, but the most pragmatic course of action in front of you. The only thing holding you back could be a sense of anxiety. Or fear. Do not allow those things to interfere with your process. Good luck. If you've picked the third card, your advice is Four of Swords. Four of Swords. Truce. Interesting. This is strongly urging you to not do anything. Literally, don't do anything, is what this card is saying. The Four of Swords is a hiatus. It's a break. 
it's a, a pause, taking a breath, just sitting down, looking inward, being still. So, what I would like you to do now is take a moment to meditate with me. If you'd like to open your eyes or keep them open, that's okay, but you can also close them. But either way, I would like you to see the four swords. And keep breathing in and out. Slowly. And with ease. It's very relaxing because it's happening in and of itself. There's no need to force anything. There's no need to use your willpower at this moment. Look at the four swords surrounding you. There's one to your left. There's one in front of you. There's one to your right. And there's one behind you. And you're, see you're seeing all of them. Because you have 360 vision. You're seeing everything. Even the things behind you. How is that possible? It's possible because you're in a virtual space. You're in the safe haven of your own mind. Where you can create effortlessly. And now you're here to exercise Wu Wei, effortless action. Wu Wei is a concept from Taoism, ancient Chinese philosophy strongly correlates with Buddhism and the effortless action is you ceasing all desire to change the situation just breathe into it and allow the swords, the four swords, to create a magnetic field around you. This magnetic field attracts things to you, certain things that you need. You don't have to wish for them. You don't have to want them. They just come to you because you need them. You receive everything that you need. Not what you want, but what you need. And this is all effortless. There's no need to take any action. There's no need to even think about this because it just happens organically and naturally. Just 
trust the fact that these things come to you. Everything that you need is already at your disposal. You're safe. Good luck to you. Thank you for watching.